this is Infernus. I F N three R N U S. Right? Yep. And I am Rifen, R Y P H O N. And we are just testing to bake a graphics card. I have recently, my 8800 GT has died. Well, and not really. little I'm green lines everywhere. Facts everywhere. So. Little, little green dots, and it's not I'm good. Just trying the baking method 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Let's see if this works. Yeah. 385. Uh, put it on the cooking, the cookie cutter on your left. Or actually, on the wooden one right here. Right here. Close that oven, dude. Okay, here it is. Here's baked. Kept the stickers on, that one's all screwed up. It's a very old graphics card. Um, not a lot of difference, other than the solder points specifically. Right here I can notice that it's definitely melted a little bit. Here it is. Completely baked, ready to go. Turn it around. And again, back there. Uh, heat sink. Full face. And there we go. Yep. All we'll worked, um, um, put the heat sink back on and um, I'll give you another update. That's all you need. Um, there's definitely a response from that, so that means it is indeed working. Here's CPU-Z. Why are we opening up CPU-Z? As you can see, it has all the information. Go to graphics. Graphics. NVIDIA well, GeForce. Successful. Bake is successful. <laughs> As you can see, going across the screen, looking at the donut, looking at the background, looking at the dragon. Badass dragon. Going through. Same settings as before. I'll even go to the same location where it was at. And there is no green dots. No more artifacts. So, as far as we know so far, it's been cured. We did it at uh, so the 385, 10 minutes, let it cool. Bake method looks like it does work. So uh, we recommend this if you're getting some artifacting. Go ahead and bake your card. And this is Infernus and Rifen. Thank you, everybody.